Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And this week, as you can see, I've been busy. I've made more grass, or well, more dirt, more grass, so I've got more trees growing. I have moved around my, um, my chests that were here and blocking the, um, the what do you call these things? Storage bins. Storage drawers, that's it. And I've got my refined storage up and running. And in here, all I have is chemical, chemical moats. This was explained to me by one of my subscribers. Can't remember which one. I think it may have been Mighty Dragon. I think it was Nighty Dragon and um, they explained that you would call these moles not moats more moles that's it so that is so the refined storage is full of moles chemical moles and then the chests that I have had what are now over here there's food in this one and the rest are just miscellaneous. Also, I have been busy. I have been in the nether and I've been killing stuff. I decided the best way for me to do this is to put some music on, go into the nether and go ham. You know what? I forgot my... I haven't got my, um, my sword. I knew this was good, too good to be true. Okay, let's come out, let's go get my sword because I put it away, yep. I put it in my tools chest, which is this one? Nope, this one. No. No, the tools are over here. No. Where did I put my tools? Not in that one. Oh, this one. Right. I knew I'd get there finally. So I've added some modifiers to my tools as well. If you come over here to the tool station and have a look. Um, originally it was just ecological um, and cheapskate because it was a stone hammer, not a stone hammer, a stone um, sword. And then I added um, nether quartz to it to give it the sharpness modifier. When I went into the nether, I went to um, one of the fortresses and I managed to kill some nether, not nether, uh, wither skeletons, which was pretty good. I only got killed, I think twice. And I got a couple of necrotic bones, which gives you the necrotic modifier. And also I've got a couple of drops of evil. So I put those to good use as well. And I put a diamond on it to give it a bit more durability. And I did the same to my pickaxe. All I did was put on a diamond to give it a bit more durability. So I have a shiny a shiny sword that gives you life steal. Um, okay. Oh, I thought I wasn't bouncing. Where are we? This way. First thing, there's a door. Why is there a door? You're probably wanting to know. Or you might not be, I don't know. But we have a tunnel. Hopefully, nothing spawned in the tunnel. Because that could kind of ruin the surprise. <laughs> I use the drops of evil to make a mod bomb. So I can kill zombie pigmen. The reason why I built the tunnel is that when I kill the zombie pigmen in here, it aggroes the ones that are out here. So if they do come running up, 
then they will come here and I can kill them, go through the door and get the loot. And what did we get? Rubidium and nitrogen and rubidium and carbon. I don't need any more wool. I shouldn't say that. Carbon is extremely useful because I was trying to make something. I can't remember what it was. And out of curiosity, I went and broke down some sugar. That gave me sucrose. So I wondered, what can that break down into? And it, a stack of sugar gave me tons and tons and tons of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. I won't tell you how much. There, I mean, it, it was unreal. So... As you can see, there's lots of oxygen, lots of hydrogen. I think I've got a lot of carbon in this one. But there's also tons in here, and it's all full. Which is why I can't fit any more. So today, what we are going to do is a few of the side quests. Because I'm waiting for my cobble to condense into triple con... No, this will be double con double oh dear double compressed cobblestone and I need triple and quadruple compressed cobblestone so I'm waiting for a significant amount to compress and then we will look at going into the deep dark so in the meantime we're going to do a couple of side quests um one of them was to make potatoes. Let's have a look. There's one to make potatoes, which is quite easy-ish. We need starch and potassium. I had potassium. Starch you get from wheat, basically wheat and potatoes. So I wondered where you could get starch from. Starch is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So I recom I because I started thinking about starch and I remember doing chemistry at school and doing um experiments with sugar and how sh and remembering that sugars were simple starches. So that kind of got me thinking when put back in the sucrose and got tons of hydrogen, oxygen and carbon. So I could make the starch for that. Then the other one, the melon we can't do because you can only get it from the phytogenic isolator or from the factorizer. And we don't have access to any of those yet. So, although, uh, we probably, no, we can't make it yet. So that's off the cards. And uh, that's the deep dark cactus we can do because you make that from cellulose and mescaline. Mescaline is carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. And I have all of those. So that is fairly simple. And fertilizer, I, I looked at it and I thought, nah, I don't want to go through all of that because that would have taken me forever. So let's try doing some of these, um, some of these recipes. And I think I went and put too many elements in there. Uh, tools. This one. I think I put too many elements. But we'll see. I also made a chest, chest transporter. Let's put you on top here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. And an obsidian chest transporter had the most durability. And to make a chest transporter... Uh, you need four sticks and whatever block you want to make it out of. So the simplest one to make is wood but that's a single use then you got iron gold diamond copper 
silver, tin, and obsidian. And actually, it looks like gold is the next next level down. No. Yes. So you have got diamond, then obsidian, then gold. Uh, silver, tin. No, silver, iron, tin, and then wood. So that's not too bad. It's not too bad. But of course, when you move things around, it gives you slowness, jump boost, hunger, and something else, which isn't good. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Okay, let's go to our recipes. Right, we don't want that. We want the potato. So that's starch and potassium. Right, that's not in here, that is in the trunk. Starch and potassium. I oh, know, wrong thing, that's what we want. Right, potato, starch first, then potassium. Starch first, then potassium. Okay, that was pretty simple. And what are our rewards? The satchel reinforced, traveler's knapsack, Times two hardened upgrade kit, traveler's goggles, night vision, traveler's goggles, zoom, or traveler's cloak, slow fall. Hmm. I think I'll go for the reinforced satchel and then I could carry all my tools around in that. Although I don't know what the traveler's knapsack does. Let's have a look. Um. Okay, the traveler's knapsack, chest plate accessory. I guess it makes, or oh, but you need rabbits to make it. Hmm. I'm, I'll stick with the, I will stick with the satchel secure stores and collects items can be secured use on an inventory while sneaking to transfer to it use while sneaking to configure press none to enable auto collect yep that sounds what we'd want to do and cactus right this is the tricky one Oh, I had four more starch. Okay. It's not too bad. Did I? No, I didn't save cactus. Okay. Press A to lock it in. A mescaline. Press A to lock that in. Okay, so mescaline. Oh, I need it up here though. M E S C A. Yeah, there it is. So space, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. And how many cactus, cacti do we need? 16. Okay, so we need 16 nitrogen. Okay, um, if we get a stack, another stack, and oxygen. Because my math is rubbish. I mean, you guys know me and my math. So I'm not even bothering to count it out because I know I'm going to get it wrong. Uh, 
16 and 3 oxygen. Alright, what have we run out of? If we just keep feeding it, it looks like we're going to keep running out of hydrogen. Alright, put a stat back in there. And we've run out of carbon. There we go. No, nope, we don't want the dirt. And then... The first one was cellulose, wasn't it? Where did I put the cellulose? Let's put the mescaline in there. And cellulose. Is that cellulose? That looks... Yes. And we have exactly 16. And in we go. That wasn't too hard. The hardest part was actually collecting all the stuff. And for this reward, I think I will go for the hardened upgrade kit. because um, that's hard to make. So I will quite happily go for the hardened upgrade kit. All right, so the potatoes, we can plant some of those. And the cactus, we need sand for that. How do you get sand? It's probably going to be silicon dioxide. No, we don't want the chest. We want table and sand is chemical combiner yeah silicon dioxide in the corner we want four 32 silicon dioxide and that should give us our four pieces of sand I keep clicking on the furnace nope, oh no, wrong thing that's why That gives us eight. Okay. Four gives us one. Okay. Um, so we needed another four. We have it in our inventory. See, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I can't count. <laughs> so yeah, we needed a whole stack. Never mind. And of course we don't... Well, then, no, then again, we still need sand because if we want to make the Tinker's Smeltery, which we're going to have to do at some point, we need sand. Okay, but does it have to be water? I don't think there needs to be water in order for sand to, to sand to grow. Sand doesn't grow. I don't think there needs to be any water in order for cactus to grow. If I remember correctly. 
But you know, I might be wrong because, you know, is that a creeper face? Looks like a creeper face. So if I sneak, does that make you grow any faster? Oh, yes, it does. Nice. Okay, right, so we've got that growing. Um, I have a hose somewhere. Oh, there's something else we can put in our backpack. Oh yes, I forgot, you can use the crescent wrench to rotate things. I do have a hose somewhere. I mean, I could just make another one. It's no biggie, but it would be nice to find the one that I already have. Um, nope, no hoe. There you go. I knew I had one. Um, what am I planting though? Potatoes. Potatoes are in the food thing. See, that's what happens when you move stuff and then you don't remember where you move stuff to. Which, a bit, which is a bit of a pain. If I do eight potatoes and half a stack of seeds, because we're going to need lots of um, seeds, lots of wheat. Oh, and the other thing I found out is, um, because Nighty Dragon had said to make sure to eat lots of food. So I tried eating more stuff and it's given me two extra hearts. So if you notice that my first two hearts are orange, those are my extra hearts, which is something a little bit awesome. Okay, we need to do that there. And then, let's sow the seeds. I could break out into song, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear me sing. But we are sowing the seeds of love. Go Google it, or put it through YouTube and you will see the song that I'm talking about by Tears for Fears. I do like a bit of Tears for Fears. Okay, right. So that's more crops growing. We've got um, cactus growing. That's not too bad. It's still, oh, it's saying 90% now. Well, that's interesting. So even though they're optional, it's still going towards finishing the chapter. Okay. Well, I suppose you don't have to get 100% on a chapter, but it's preferable, I guess. So the deep dark, You need, let's have a look, one triple pressed and quadru quad quadruple pressed, so nine double pressed, right, let's see what we can get out of this, um, let's empty our, our, um, our thing first of all. All right, let's get rid of the carrots. The rotten flesh will go in there because you can get protein from that, I think. I'll put the seeds back and the wheat. Let's put our chemical moats in here. I like saying elements though, although I guess moats would be correct. I should, I will defer <laughs> to people who know um we'll put that in there as well 
should have probably should have done that first and then what what was I going to do I've totally forgotten now oh yes we need to empty out our empty out our thing so we can fill it up with cobble and we have a thing to open rubidium and zinc nothing nothing interesting I did get this Krypton light but I have no idea what it is I should have looked it up um I went when I went into the nether oh wrong things wrong things E right when I went into the nether there was a huge magma cream absolutely huge and it was bouncing around and I went into a corner and and killed it which was pretty cool okay so what does this do is it a light but when I killed it I got um a flashy loot crate one of those it was either purple or pink I'm not sure which one so you have glass and that I'm guessing it's some kind of lantern but seeing it's never night here then I don't I can't see if it works or not right let's put back in let's put in a flint and steel Her iron hammer needs fixing put in the fishing rod that is something else I need to do between um, episodes do more fishing and there's our other pick okay so Here's our satchel. Uh, we don't need the hatchet, don't need that. So really we just need Bob. Bob the sword and the stone pickaxe. Which I should really name. But I don't know what to call it. I haven't thought of any... Um... I don't know if it's a pickaxe. All right, tool station. Can I name it without having to repair it? Yes, I can. So we've got Axel Rose, the pickaxe. We've got Bob, our sword. And why were we going into the nether? I can't remember. I'm seriously having a seen a moment here. I can't remember. Oh, no, we weren't going into the nether. We were clearing to get some of this. That's what we were doing. My inventory full yet? Not yet. Now it's full. And if we go and fill this up, gives us triple compressed. How many triple compressed do we need? I think it was four, right? I think it was four triple compressed and one, two, three, four, two, no, five triple compressed and four quadruple compressed. All right, let's go get some more triple compressed, double compressed. Okay, we have now run out of double compressed. See, we've only got four. We need one more triple compressed.
Uh, triple, triple, triple. Yeah, we don't have a stack. So now you see why we have to um, let it let it work itself through. But we will get there. It's fine. Let's put that there. We have sulfur. And that's it for this week. So hopefully by next week we will have enough cobble to make our deep dark portal. We can make it and then spend next week's episode getting slaughtered in the deep dark. <laughs> Which of course sounds like tons of fun. Even if I do say so myself. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, it really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.